What is going on? I'm, it's really early in the morning. I'm going to make a quick video. Um, I'm changing up my, my concealed carry because summer is approaching. So all winter long, I've carried my CZ97 and some actually some holster wear along here. Uh, and this, it, it's heavy. It's a big, heavy gun, but I carry it in a, a holster in my inside pocket in my navy pea coat. I mean, you know, when I'm riding my bicycle to work, I don't even know it's there. And I mean, and literally, all you do open your jacket and draw it, and then boom, 11 rounds of 45 ACP, and it's my pride and joy gun, all decked out. I have videos on this gun. You know, Cajun Gunworks milled out the milled out and put this uh, 1911 barrel bushing in there. I'm not pointing the gun at myself. This gun is loaded. Both these guns are loaded, and the reason is. You know, everybody unloads their guns, but guys, I'm in my house. These are my carry guns, and that's why they're loaded. These are my guns, you know, and they're loaded. That's how I handle them day in and day out, and that's how they are day in and day out. So I figured, you know, let's show people, uh, you know, how to handle guns that are loaded. This gun, I carry on half cock. The safety cannot be engaged cannot put the safety up unless you carry it cocked and locked. Um, great, great way to carry. No safety, just draw and shoot. It's more like a, it's more like a long, it feels more like a little bit longer single action pull when it's in hot, half cock. That's how I carry this gun. So anyway, this is my pride and joy. I built up this gun. I, I love carrying it. But summer's coming. And what I've been doing is I have this in my backpack and I'm riding and I have this in my backpack. I can get at it pretty quickly, but I, if somebody were to come up on you or some crazy, uh, you know, like the guy that ate the guy's face off, you know, some, some crazy situation like that. Um, although I do feel confident I could run away from, from most people you know, in a situation like that. So, I you know, I, I feel pretty safe when I'm out, actually. But that being said, it's always good to be able to get to your gun. And this, in my inside pocket, in my, my winter coat, it's great. I can always get at it, you know what I mean? So, so I'm going to give you a look at this other little gun I have for, you know, when it's really hot out. You know, I'm going to just... i seen there's some videos on YouTube talking about this gun and, and it's just they're really embarrassing to watch it's like the people are it's like really could people really be that ignorant on gun design so let's get this guy out of the way and let's look at what we have here so this this is a bond arms uh backup derringer two shots and uh it is loaded let's go ahead and unload it just for the sake of showing you the gun. So two and showing you the rounds or whatever. 245 ACP rounds. So the same rounds that are in that are in my CZ 97. Um, now when I bought this gun, I I probably would have bought it in this is a two and a half inch barrel. I probably would have bought a three inch barrel if it was available, like say it was at the gun store. And then we got it with the 410 uh, barrel, which will shoot the little 410 shot shells. Uh, but you can also carry like a 45 long colt, which really I think is more fitting to this gun. You know, to carry the, I would rather carry two. You know, initially I was like, oh, the 410, oh, that'd be that'd be better, you know, with only two shots. But now that I've given it some more thought, I actually like the 45 better. Um... But it all kind of worked out because, like, initially I thought, like, when I bought it, I'm like, well, I'll just order another barrel. Because you can buy whatever barrels you want for these guns, which is really cool. And that's what I figured I'd do. I'm like, well, I have a 45 ACP barrel if I want to carry this as a backup for the CZ-97. Because this is a great backup, you know. Throw this in your backpack, carry the CZ-97, 
and say someone wrong with the CZ 97. Well, you got this, and it's and you got a whole bunch of rounds because you got magazine full of 45 ACP. So you can just keep, you know what I mean? Now that's getting a little carried away, but it is, it, it, you know, say you were in a building or something and you were carrying a 45, 1911, something broke with it. You know, this would be a good backup. It's 45 ACP. And you're going to have how many reloads? You only had two shots. I mean, you're not unarmed at that point, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, but that being said, me carrying this in the summer, this is going to be in my pocket, my front pocket, and it conceals it like this. This is an old Hunter holster, which are awesome, by the way, that I had from, uh, uh was for a Ruger LCP. I just opened up the stitching, and you see the stitching that's left? I just took a lighter and heated it, and, uh, it was also fit a kel P3AT, because I had both those guns. And... I had sold them off, and I was like, well, i got to get me another little gun for summer carry. And uh, this gun is like, it's really like, to me, you know, it's it kind of falls into that L Ruger LCP category. Something that you put in your pocket. It's a pocket gun. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of people comparing Bond Arms. Well, why don't you just get a Glock 27 or, you know... You know, those guns, those those Glocks, those are bigger guns, man. I mean, they're, you could carry it in your pocket, but it, this thing is, is small. I mean, when, it's heavy, but once it's in your pocket, you get in your truck, if you don't feel it, you know, in your where your hip flexors are, it's not binding. It's, it's literally you forget that it's there. Uh... And the, my, my, my philosophy on this gun is this is a cowboy gun. You know, I've carried single action, uh, single action, you know, cowboy guns before. I had a Ruger Vaquero that I used to carry. You can carry six in that, but in most, most cowboy, cowboy guns, you're carrying five rounds. You're carrying five rounds. Well, this is two. But the reason I kind of wanted to make a video on this is, guys, I've seen some embarrassing videos on YouTube. These guys are holding this gun and they're shooting it like it's a Glock and they got their hand up here. They're going to shoot their finger off, man. What the heck is wrong with you, man? Are these people retarded? This is a Derringer, man. This is the way this is rounded here. With the This is like a single action cowboy gun. You, your finger in the trigger, you cock it and fire. You know what I mean? You take your time. As you draw, you, you cock and you fire. like Just like a cowboy gun. Uh, well, what is so hard to understand that? You don't have... This other hand up here, I mean, are you a moron? And uh, let me tell you what, man, this gun, when you, if you, if you, if you shoot it like that, cock and, and aim it with one hand, there's none of that, like with the, with, like with the LCP, those little guns, they want to pull to the left because they're so small, they've got that long, that long pull, by the time you get all the way back here, you're twisting the gun to the left. And if your finger's not right, your finger can actually hit the frame and you can't even get the thing to fire. That can happen on this little thing too if you don't get your finger down on the trigger. Uh, so all little guns have their, their, their quirks like that. But, but this gun will shoot dead straight. I mean, you won't have any problem. You know, remember, you draw it, cock, line up your sight and, and fire. Just like when you're carrying a cowboy gun. You know, I know nobody really thinks to do that, but I used to carry cowboy guns all the time, you know, in a shoulder holster, because I just like that type of that type of stuff. I like those. I just I'm a gun guy, and I and I like them. I never felt unsafe carrying a cowboy gun. I never did. I mean, I didn't have any problem. You just naturally, you know, draw, cock, and, and line up the sights. I mean, the only difference is that this gun, once you get it cocked, you don't have that hair trigger. I mean, those cowboy guns have a hair trigger, and your finger is pretty much in the trigger guard when you when you when you cock them. That's how you that's how you cock it. It could be cocked out here, but the way this setup and everything was designed, you know, back in the day, with the, with the you know cowboy guns, is 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 is, is you cock it and you fire. 
I mean, it's literally as natural, you know, as you're drawing it from your pocket, you're cocking it. So it doesn't take any more time than, a, than like, say, an LCP or anything else like that. It doesn't, people go, oh, you got an extra step. You really don't. You draw it and you cock and you line up. It's just people, it's an extra step to them because it's something that's an older design that they're not familiar with. But believe me, if all you carried was those guns, I mean, that's how you, you grab the gun and, and you draw it. I mean, you're cocking it as it's coming out of your pocket. And once you get the trigger on here, it, it's, it's a real crisp, short trigger, and it's got some weight to it. I mean, it's a really, it's great. It's just phenomenal. A phenomenal trigger for, for a, a self-defense gun. I mean, uh, these things make no sense. You see them, uh, you know, on, on YouTube and guys talking about them, but they, they, it's great. They're, they're great. You know, I mean, say, say, say like a guy was going to run at you with a machete from across the street. Do you want a Ruger LCP or do you want this? You know, I don't know. I, I, I think you probably would be better off with this. What the guy's, the guy's going to be right up on you and you hit him with the 45 and hope he drops. Because that LCP, the 380, man, some guy with a machete that's crazy, he's not going to drop. He's going to be on you. Is he going to drop with these two, would get hit with the 45? I don't know. But it's kind of like six of one, half a dozen another, you know. You got to do two or three rounds of 380 to do what you're going to do with uh, with the 45. But for me, this gun, what it has over carrying an LCP. Like I said, I used to carry one, um, and it's more reliable. And LCP is like a very reliable gun. You know, all those other little compare this to all those other little pocket pistols that you don't know if they're going to fire and. Five shot revolvers are great, but they're bigger. I don't really consider them pocket guns. They're bigger, you can carry them in your pocket. I carried a 649 last summer, which is a heavy five shot gun. But you know what, when you sit down, they bind in your, at your hip flexor. It really isn't, doesn't fall into this category. And neither do the other Bond Arms. This one with the two and a half inch barrel with the short grip, that's really fat. And, and it just lines up great, man. Oh, there's a cross bolt safety here. It was just here. You push it all the way in, and it's, you know, if it's red, you're dead. There's a little Allen. It comes with the Allen. You turn the Allen in, and then the safety is disengaged. So that's what I did. I thought about actually trying to remove it. Looks like there's some pins here, roll pins. But... So that was cool that they did that. They really should just get away from that, but there is a safety on there. I don't know if they're just... I, I think they just do that because there's people that walk into a gun store that go, Oh, that's neat. I like this. Does it have a safety? You know, maybe uh, someone that's not doesn't know a lot about guns. And they go, Yeah, it sure does. And they go, Oh, wow, safety. Awesome. I love it. Because the safety is not really doing anything. The gun cannot fire the way it's designed. It, it cannot fire. The trigger has to be pulled. Um, you know, it does actually does protect the hammer mechanism and everything. If this were to get dropped, so it doesn't get broken. But you know, still, I wouldn't have a safety on a little carry gun like this. Um, it's not designed to be carry cocked and locked. But guys, the build quality on these things. You know, it's great, you get, you're get you buying, you're getting a quality gun, and, uh, oh, the, the reliability, what I was talking about with the LCP, it's the reliability and the shootability of this gun is better. It's easier to line up, to draw, you know, especially with one hand, to draw and line up your sights and shoot center mass, and not have to worry about getting your hand, you know, it feels like, look at, see, I have big hands, I got really big hands. And you can see, I can, I don't really have any problem holding it and getting my finger on the trigger. Whereas, like the LCP, man, the, the, it's so tiny that I feel like I just, I just can't get a grip on the little thing. You know what I mean? And you get the same thing. You put your hand over the gun. Maybe you're going to hit the slide and you get to put your, I always put my hand down here anyway. I don't do that up on the side of the frame. I don't, I never do that. Um, 
but you know people do shoot like that and you're gonna shoot your damn finger off or or get your finger on the, the slide you know some weird situation some weird thing this this gun is not like that. it's very shootable it's dead and you know the two rounds that you have are gonna go off and if you compare it to a cowboy gun carrying five rounds which I like I said I never felt unsafe carrying a cowboy gun with five rounds this is basically if you factor in how small it is uh, it's like a cowboy gun in your pocket it's a cowboy gun in your pocket with a big old round and you have two rounds and you shouldn't have any problem you know saving you shouldn't have any problem saving your life with this gun you know as far as mister I think people can conceal carry for the wrong reasons. They think that they're going to stop a, uh, you know, uh, like a mass shooting or, you know, like these guys, some guys, some lunatic shows up with a, uh, you know, with, 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 with a bunch of rifles and going to start shooting everybody. And I mean, obviously, if everybody concealed carry, then that wouldn't happen. And that's really what people should do. But if you think you're going to go up against somebody that's got shotguns and everything and you're going to save the world with your gun, uh, yeah, with this, you definitely could take them out. But guess what? You might die. You know, I don't really look at concealed carry like that, man. Concealed carry is to protect yourself. If these other people out there don't want to protect themselves, that's on them. It's not your job to... To be a superhero and protect everybody and you know what I mean it's really not especially with the laws I, you, you're limited to you have to conceal the gun so it's summertime you have to conceal my gun so I'm limited to this simple as that and you know and it's it's a great gun man especially if you're a gun guy it's just a really a quality a quality gun and Compared to other pocket guns, I think this is better. I know the rounds are going to go off, you know, and I don't have to carry them little, some little cheesy gun that I just don't feel. I mean, I could shoot an LCP. I like an LCP. I'm using an LCP as an example because it's something that I owned. But, but guys, anyway, this is really more of a cowboy, a cowboy style gun. And you should train accordingly, draw and line up. And I tell you what, man, it, it sure lines up when you hold it with one hand. And it'll shoot dead straight. Made in Texas. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool gun. Pretty, pretty cool gun. But I like this little one, man. I think the bigger ones with the longer barrels, that's when these guns start to make less sense. But for a big old round... You know, and, and for a pocket gun, you know, you carry spare rounds too. You could reload these things pretty quick. So, anyway, guys, I thought I'd give you a look at that. I'll see you later. I know I talk, I make long videos. A lot of times it doesn't even make a lot of sense. Whoops. I'll